Hey, what's up, friends? Moses here from Driver Success. I hope and pray that you guys are doing well. So I just want to share with you a little bit about my friend. Um, the reason I want to uh, share with you uh, about this friend of mine is because he was really, really a very successful uh, person. Unfortunately, he did pass away in... Uh, I'm going to write down some of this information. He passed away in 2006. Uh, just before he was 80 years old. Just to give you an idea, in 1988, this friend of mine was listed as one of the wealthiest uh, uh, people in um, in the U.S. He made it to number, I mean, he, he was among those 400 people. Actually, he was number 335, right? 335. Now, during that year, uh, there were uh, there were 17 people that were number 335. Uh, this uh, uh, he was a man that I'm talking about. This gentleman had 250 million at that time. So in 1988, people who had 250 million made it to uh, the wealthiest, the 400 wealthiest people in America. On that list of the 400 wealthiest people in America, there were nine people that were uh dropouts school dropouts and he was among the school dropouts this friend of mine was born in 1927 and because of the depression he dropped out of school when he was in the seventh grade and he decided to go and work with his uncle uh picking cotton because he was out there picking field uh, he got an idea and before you know it uh he came up with this idea and, uh, and the idea made it big and in 1961 in 1961 he began a company now some of you are already probably ha uh, have an idea of who i'm talking about he's not actually a friend but he's the founder of the company that i work for jb hunt so jb hunt uh, started his company with a wife together with a wife of course in 1961 that's when it was incorporated uh, I'm, I'm trying to start to make videos uh, just taking information about JB Hunt because I want us to get to know uh, JB Hunt more so I'm reading a book I'll show you right here I got this book from Amazon and the story behind it is one time I went to the office um, in the Hazlitt office and when I, I was in the office I looked in one of the managers office you know like uh, some of the managers like uh the managers that head you know like maybe like one that heads the local managers and then there's another one that heads the regional managers and then there's one that heads everything so the one at the moment that was setting the regional managers had a book seated you know like in his office this book right here purple on the inside now when i saw this title it caught my attention because uh, I had read a book by Seth Gordon, which is, I think it's Purple Cows, something like that. So when I read this, I'm like, ah, interesting, what's that book about? So I went to ask him and I realized it said J.B. Hunt and he told me, oh, it's about the company. Do you want to borrow it? And I'm like, oh, sure. So he, 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 he lent me the book. And when I was reading this book, halfway through the book, I'm like, you know what? I need my own uh, copy because usually when I'm reading, I highlight or I underline so that I can always go back. If I want, I'm looking for something, I can always go back and see what is in the book. I'm sorry, I've been distracted. I was looking out the window. Anyway, um, so I decided to buy halfway through this book. I decided to get myself a copy. I went on Amazon to get a copy. And while I was there, you know, like how you would be buying something and then they recommend something. They recommended this book. I had never really taken that time to read about JB Hunt or to find out information really about, you know, like the history of JB Hunt and all that stuff. So I got this book. I'm starting to read it and it's an interesting book i'm loving them i'm gonna be reading them both together but um 
I'm finding it so interesting that I thought I will start making videos about the stuff that I find interesting, the stuff that is really um, uh, things that I think that some of you may also find interesting about the company. Because the more you get to know about the company, maybe the more you understand what your place is within that company. So that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to figure out uh, really um, what is my place in the company? How can I serve? How can I make JB Hunt smaller? And so this, I find that this is one of the best places where you can even start finding out the history, understanding the mission, understanding what drives the company that you work for. And I think that is where uh, you can even be able to get the fulfillment because um, I was, I remember I was uh, doing some, you know, like Google search where I was wondering what is the difference between having a job and having a career. And I, I, I was reading different things, but at the end of the day, uh, a job, um, the way, um, you know, like the different definitions I, I read, a job is just that thing you do to earn money. But a career is that thing that you do. Actually, there's one that I loved where I talked about, you know, like uh, it's where you are improving, you are growing. A career is all about, you know, like growth. And uh, it could be with within a, an industry or it could be within a company. But it's like something that you work towards, something where you grow from one level to another. And so I figure that one of the ways that... Um, uh, to grow in a particular company and one of the ways to feel satisfied is to understand the the mission of the company understand what the company is all about and then figure out how can you be of service in that company how can you find your place so that it's not just about the money but it's also the fulfillment of what you do and so that's what i want to do i want to uh, share with you some of the things that i, I find interesting and you know, like uh, some of the information that I find interesting about JB Hunt. So in the videos, you'll see some of the videos where I talk about JB Hunt. But I just wanted to let you know, uh, for those of you that don't know, JB stands for Johnny Bryan. His name was Johnny Bryan Hunt, the wife, the widow, Jonelle, right? I think that's, I don't know if that's how they, they pronounce her name, but Jonelle, uh, she's still alive. At this moment, I was reading uh, in the Forbes magazine, she's number four on America's, uh, what, what is it like, America's women, self-made women, something like that. She's number four on America's, I think it's America's self-made women. But right now she's number, I think if I remember right, she's number 601 on the Forbes list of the wealthiest people. And she has 4.4. 4.4 .4 billion in wealth i'm enjoying this book and i'll be sharing with you more about it for those of you that want to be part of the jb hunt team i encourage you to send me an email moses at driver success.com or you can text me 877 moses 50 877 3750 um usually it's okay to call me but usually i may not be able to pick up because i'm really like always moving um uh sometimes when you 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 get me you will be able to to get me on the phone or i could be able to return your call if i have some time but if you really want to reach me the best thing is through email and through text message those i can easily get back to you also if you want in the description the very first link will take you to uh, my website and you can fill out a form your information will come to me so whether you are right out of school and you need to go through training or you already have experience or you are somebody with your own track you want to bring it to jb hunt i encourage you to reach out to me i will do my best to have somebody give you a call and see how best we can help you all right friends i'm coming more with some more information until then, stay blessed and stay safe. Bye-bye.